Hi guys, it's Felicia and today I'm going to talk to you about how to achieve this natural everyday look. So this is a really great look if you're going to work or you're going to school or even for a job interview because it really just enhances your natural um, features and isn't too over the top or too overdone. So if you're interested in getting this look, just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with a primer and I'm using the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. And this one's a silicon based one and it's really good for oily skin people because it keeps the oils um, under the surface of the skin and from oozing out through the foundation during the day. Um, I just put this on the cheek area because that's where I have most of the pores and then also on the forehead because that's where I tend to get like oily and just down the nose. Just in the T-zone area. Now we're gonna put some foundation on and I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow. This is one of my favorite uh, foundations because it's really, oh, it's like medium coverage um, and it's really easy to blend. So just dabbing that on the skin. It's probably not the most hygienic way to put it on, but since their pumps for this foundation bottle is always out of stock, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so blending that out, I'm using the Zoeva um, 104 Buffer Brush. So with this, just push it into the skin. The important thing is to start with a thin layer because if you put a lot on at once, it won't look natural and it kind of defeats the whole purpose of achieving like a natural everyday look. So that's one layer and it's okay if you can still see a bit of um, your natural like pigmentations or anything peeping through because it keeps to that whole natural look. But if you want, you can put just a bit more on and I think I will this time because my skin is breaking out. So after that, I'm gonna put on some concealer just under the eyes and on the areas where I have like some pimples or some scarring. And I'm gonna use the NARS Creamy Concealer. This one's really good because the coverage is really awesome. So just dotting that under the eye. This one's a bit too dark for me, especially if you want that highlighted look. It's a good color for concealing pimples and scars, but under the eye, if I wanted like a more brightening highlighting effect, Usually I'll mix it with um, a lighter color concealer. I'm gonna mix some of the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer just to brighten up the under eye a bit. Put it around the nose because that's where I get really red and also around here. And just on the center of the forehead and the bridge of the nose. I'm just gonna blend this out with my fingers because it's easiest. And it really breaks down and warms up the product. Um, making it look a bit more natural under the eye. So I don't wanna spread this too far outwards because I don't want a done up look. So just keep it close to the eye, blending out whatever's left onto the eyelid. And when that's mostly blended in with your finger, you can just take your damp beauty blender and just go over the edges. So there's a seamless finish and just blend out the other areas. Because my skin is going through a rough time right now, so I'm just gonna cover up just where my pimples are still peeking through. You have to set the concealer down with some powder. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I love this palette so much because there's a yellow shade, there's an orange shade, and there's also like a skin uh, color, and also all your contour shades, and they're all very cool tone. So when you put it under the jawline or under the cheekbones, it creates a really natural shadow. Um, so I'm just gonna use this middle one here. So just going under the eye where we just put that concealer, and also on the forehead area. So with an everyday natural look, you don't wanna um, powder all your face because then it kind of takes away from the natural dewy um, look. And now we'll just bronze up the skin so it doesn't look like we're from The Walking Dead. So I'm just gonna take this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I've been using this since I like started wearing makeup so it's been my tried and true, it's never done me wrong. 
Um, so I'm just taking that on a Real Techniques contour brush and just under the cheekbones, I'm gonna warm up the face. And on the top of the forehead, on the temples. If you want, you could go and contour a little bit. Um, and because I have a rounder face, I'm going to take just another contour brush, and this is from Illamasqua, and take um, this color here, which is subconscious. It's like the medium tone cool brown, and just put a little bit under the cheekbones. Okay, so onto eyebrows, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I'm going to use this top shade here um, to do the eyebrows. And this is a really great shade because it's not too warm and not too like red. So it works really well as an eyebrow color. So just taking that on an eyeliner brush, I'm gonna just start carving out the eyebrows and defining that outer edge. I like to start from the back and work my way forwards because it helps me see the shape that I want to achieve. I'm just going to use a bit of this Benefit um, Gimme Brow to just go over, set my little hairs in place. And this one's really good because it has little fibers and I need all the hairs I can get. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with MAC um, Soft Ochre. So just all over the lid and this will help your eyeshadows really pop and the colors to really show through and also prolong um, how long they stay on your eyes. Starting with this um, tapered fluffy brush. The worst thing about this palette is they didn't write the names of the color onto the palette. So I'm just taking this one on the left, tapping it off and just working that into the crease. So just in little circular motions, work that in just into the socket. And if you don't know where that is, you can just push along your eyeball and that's where it should go. So make sure the color's really blended out and it's got a really soft and diffused look. Drag it out towards the end of where your um, eyebrows are. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow tapered brush. This one's just a bit um, finer on the top so it'll get into the crease a bit easier. And I'm just going to take this brown in the middle. It's a warm, dark brown. I'm just going to concentrate this on the outer V from the outside here towards the eyebrow, the tip of the eyebrow, and then just work that in a little bit. So that should just stay in this area here. Because what you're doing is just accentuating the natural um, shadows of your eye. So now I'm going to take this champagne pinky color and I'm just going to press that onto the lid from the inner corner out until where we started um, that brown on the outer V. So just by pressing that in and giving it so now just to blend that all together we're going to go back into this um, light brown shade and then just work it into the crease again just so that everything molds together so for the bottom lash line I'm gonna take um, a bit of this light brown at the top and mix it in with a bit of the brown we put in the outer corner and just run this on the outer third just so that it connects with um, the dark brown on the eyelid. Now eyeliner, we're gonna keep it really thin and close to the lash line. I'm using my Stila um, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I love this because the point is so thin and precise. Perfect for this kind of look. And I'm gonna do a really little wing. When that's done, we're gonna just curl our eyelashes 
And the eyelashes are really important because it really makes you look wide awake um, and really lifts the eye. If your eyelashes are really short and straight and they kind of poke downwards, um, your best friend is going to be a waterproof mascara. And my favorite is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. It really just coats every lash and it keeps all the lashes um, curled and defined. So you can put one or two coats of this on. Okay, so that is two coats. And you can see the eyes are already like more brighter and more awake. I'm just gonna touch that up. You could go ahead and put some on the bottom eyelashes, um, but mine are really small, so I don't really want to accentuate it, but I'll just put a bit on the outside. Now we're gonna apply some blush. Usually for an everyday look, I gravitate towards um, the more coral orange colors. And my favorite is MAC Melba. But a couple of days ago, I was in the bathroom and my bathroom has a toilet in it and I was just carrying all my stuff and it fell in the toilet. <laughs> so today I'm just going to use one from my NARS um, Guy Bourdain palette. I'm going to use just this one. It's a light pink coral shade. And just put it on the apples. You don't want it too far up so that it's kind of in the area where you um, highlighted. And for that really glowy look, we're gonna use um, Benefit's What's Up and just put a bit of highlighter on the top of the cheekbones, just where the light would naturally hit and just a bit up here. And you can also put it to um, highlight under the brow bone just gives it that really healthy glow and the lit from within kind of look. And if you wanted to make that even more intense, you could go in with a powder highlighter like this one and just sweep some over the top. Put a bit on the tip. Lastly, we're gonna do the lips. I'm using this NYX lip liner. So we're just gonna define the lips a little. I just put that all over my lip and that's really going to help um, the gloss that I put on top to stay there all day. And I'm going to use this new Melted, the Too Faced Melted in Melted Chihuahua. I don't know why they chose that name. It's kind of terrible. Melted Chihuahua, the most perfect nude color, especially if you have um, a darker complexion. It's really hard to find a nice nude that doesn't wash your whole face out. And this one is just so hydrating and so pigmented. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It was super easy, um, really natural, and I think it's a really versatile look, so you can wear it to almost anywhere. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and let me know your comments. Bye.